Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Naturally Liz and on this channel, I talk about beauty content, mostly fragrances. Whether this is your first time watching or you're returning, welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you here. In today's video, guys, we are going to be talking about things I cannot live with out right now like this stuff has got my mind in a trance i'm just like i can't live without this i need this in my life i can't help it scotty it keeps calling me if you know what i'm talking about comment down below if you guys are interested in hearing what i have or you just want to hang out with moi they keep on watching before we get into the video guys i always start off with something positive affirmation something uplifting and today guys i got this from a youtube channel that i recently discovered and i just cannot live without fumi from fumi nation poor is the man whose happiness depends on others and i was just like oh that hit me so hard. It hit me so hard. And guys, if you are not watching Fumi, what are you doing with yourself? I absolutely love her channel. I love her energy. She is 54 years old and her body is amazing. I love her wisdom. She's just amazing. She does celebrity gossip, among other things, fitness and health in a different way. So if you're looking for a good channel to watch, if you need some good, wise advice, I am going to link Fumi's channel down below because I'm a part of Fumi Nation now and I absolutely love her. I hope so. you guys enjoyed that affirmation. Now let's get into the other things I cannot live without. Like Jesus, amen. Okay, you guys, so one of the things that I have really been loving that I feel like I just cannot live without in terms of like how my, my beauty fragrance, I don't wanna say I can't live without it, but things I've been really loving and enjoying is taking care of my skin. And I've always been big on skincare in terms of my body, but not really my face. So I've been getting into that, which I will show you guys in a different video, but I love a good body wash. And lately I've been paying attention more to the ingredients of the body wash that I use. So one of my favorites right now, this is actually almost empty, uh, is right here. This is the Olay Collagen Peptide Hydrated Body Wash. And you guys, this right here has been one of my holy grail body washers. So I gave the Naterium moisturizing body glow body wash i don't know if that's the exact name of it i gave that a little break and i've been using this and it is such a moisturizing body wash with a nice lather to it i love a good lather okay i don't know it's just something about it in the shower when you have that lather on your skin it's just i don't know it does something for me and this actually just gives me a wonderful shower experience the fragrance it has a fragrance to it but it's not anything loud that's going to interfere with any other fragrance you may be wearing it's just something that's nice and simple i don't even know what i'm smelling i'm smelling something this says it moisturizes deeply for visibly firmer skin and because your girl is getting up there in age i'm trying to keep my skin firm and cute looking and just healthy this also has penetrating vitamin b3 complex so you guys if you haven't tried this give it a try it's affordable like all most of my skincare routine is affordable and, and it works my skin is soft it's smooth it's hydrating it's nice to the touch you know what i mean you, you know what i mean okay. when i take my shower i always have like two body washes I use. Don't don't talk about me doing that, but this is what I do. I think my mom uses three or four. Mom, let us know how many body washes you use in a shower below. Don't be ashamed. Let us know, seriously. Um, But I use two. So I have one that I use that is more for my the health of my skin, whether I'm moisturizing or clarifying, whatever I'm doing, okay? Now, I always go in with a body wash that smells good after that. Usually catered to whatever I want to smell like after I get out of the shower. But 
this body wash has taken over all of that because it has really, really had a hold on me and it's upside down because I'm right here. So I turned it upside down, but let me turn it right side up. This is the Dove, what's the name of this? Pampering Shea Butter and Vanilla Body Wash, okay? We all know Dove makes some great body wash, but I would, I honestly say, this is my favorite Dove body wash. I have so many Dove body washes that I use. I think I have like three or four in my bathroom right now. This one is my favorite. There's something about this that's so hydrating. It's so moisturizing. I love the lather that it gives. This is absolutely amazing. Now, even though this has vanilla in it, the scent is a perfect combination of shea butter and vanilla. So it's not too much of anything. So if you're looking for something that's really vanilla for your body, uh, for your shower routine, that's not it. It's a nice combo of both. But when I tell you guys, the combination of that Olay and the Dove, my skin feels amazing before I even step out of the shower. No lie, okay? Not gonna lie to you guys. Try that. Or if you've tried either of these, let me know what you think. It's a beautiful shower combination. I love it. Okay, now y'all, your girl loves a good body scrub. I have a lot of body scrubs in my bathroom. I need to do something about that, just like I'm trying to do something about those candles. But I feel like you just, you just can't have too much body scrub, you know? Now, I found these next two body scrubs, you guys, at Walmart. This first one, $5. This is the Tunisian Vanilla Shea Sugar Body Scrub. Did I get that right? I did. This stuff right here, you guys, let me show you, $5. $5 at Walmart. Can you see what I've done to this? Can you see that I've been just, oh my gosh, it smells like vanilla cake. Oh, so, so good. I absolutely love this, guys. This is not too abrasive and it does a nice job with the moisturizer. Can you guys see that? You see how that oil came out of there? Let me see if I can get it back in here. Lord have mercy. I just wanted to show you guys, but so it has vanilla extract and evening primrose oil in here. Y'all, when I tell you guys, this stuff is amazing for $5. I truly mean it. And I feel like it's right under the bum, the bum bum, uh, Sol de Janeiro bum bum body scrub. So that one is a little more moisturizing, but this one for $5, you cannot beat that. If you're looking for a good body scrub that smells like vanilla, because we know vanilla is still having her moments, Get this from Walmart and let me know what you think. This one, you guys, while we're talking about skincare, this one right here, I think this was $6.99, also from Walmart. And this is the Dr. Teal Shea Sugar Scrub Shea Butter and Almond Oil with Essential Oils. I'm not going to hold y'all with this, but let me tell you. Let me tell you real quick. I'm going to try to make it quick. This is the best body scrub I've used next to, next to the La Octane. I don't know if I pronounced that right. That is the best body scrub ever, in my opinion. And the, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of it. Is it Way? It comes in the white jar and it smells like pina colada. I, the name left me, but I will put a picture up for you all Okay. So the vanilla one had me all messed up and that was the one that I was using the most. So I started using this recently and I said, oh my goodness, I gotta tell, I have to tell them how great this is. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like shea butter and almond oil, like it says. But y'all, wait, one more time. Ooh, okay. It's the moisturization of this, sugar scrub that has me all messed up like seriously my skin felt so amazing to the point where i felt like i didn't need any lotion or uh body oil i still use it anyway 
but I really feel like I didn't need it because you still had the moisturization on your skin. You still had the nice, there was a nice glow and the scent was still there. It wasn't a loud scent, but your skin, you could smell it on there. I, I said, girl, are you still smelling like this after the shower? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So if you like something, if you like a nice body scrub, that's also not too abrasive because I don't like my stuff to be scratching my skin off. I don't want to look like I just got into a fight when I got out the shower because of the body scrub. No, 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 no. It doesn't do that at all. This is so good for $6.99, you guys. Now I need to try more of Dr. Teal's uh, body scrubs. I remember AI talking about them a long time ago. I don't remember which ones it was, but this one, get your hands on her because she is definitely amazing. Okay, y'all, we're still talking about skincare. We, of course, we got some fragrances, but after I get out of the shower, I always do my lotion and oil. I have and this it's right here. And it's upside down. There's nothing in here, y'all. It really isn't. But I was trying to get the last little bit out. And, of course, I have a full bottle. This is the Nivea Essentially Enriched, Enriched with Deep Nourishing Serum and Almond Oil. Intensely nourishes dry to very dry skin. And this is supposed to last 48 hours. Y'all... I've been using this for a very long time. I don't know if the girls on TikTok is talking about it because I try not to mess around with them. They'll have you buying everything. But this right here is a staple that I cannot live without. Like I love, love, love this stuff. But what I do, let me tell you, we're always mixing stuff and creating things over here. But what I do, I actually got it from my mom. I've watched my mom my whole life. She takes a bottle of lotion and she pours all these different lotions and oils into it and so i've got that from her but what i do because i don't have time to do all that i put some of this in my hand and then i spray some of this into my into the lotion and this is the aveeno daily moisturizing body oil mist it conditions dry rough skin smoother more even skin in one week I stand by this stuff. I don't know how many bottles I've purchased of this. Yes, the top is off because there is about a dollar worth of oil in here, which I'm going to use tonight. And of course, of course, we have a backup bottle. We don't play those games in these streets, but those two together on my skin, my skin feels amazing. It's touchable, you know, it's got that soft, ooh, your skin feels so soft feel to it. And I absolutely love it. So guys, all of this stuff is affordable that I mentioned. So if you're looking for affordable skincare routine, I got you. Use that stuff. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. I'm going to start talking more about skincare on my channel because I'm getting older and I want to take care of my skin and I want to share that with you guys and I, I hope that you enjoy it. Now, we're heading into a fragrance category and I'm still talking about skin, but now I'm talking about perfume too. And I just, I can't live without this oil. I've talked about it plenty of times on my channel. This is the Brown Sugar Babe Cloud 9. It says hydrating body scrub. I'm not sure why, but... I consider this to be an oil and this guys, you can wear it alone or you can layer it with whatever you want. And I promise you, you're going to smell this on your skin all day. You see the dents that we're finally making. I've had this for a long time. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And just me touching this, the oil is on my hands and yeah, my hands are going to smell like this until I wash it off. So this is, I believe it's vanilla, it's marshmallow and sandalwood, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all, this smells so good. I need more of their oils. This is absolutely amazing. Like I've layered this with so many different things and it just made the fragrance so much better. It's very, it's sweet from the vanilla and the marshmallow, but it has a slight woodiness in here 
and I just, I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. Do you guys have this little Tanya? I know you have it. At least I think you do. But if anyone else has this and you like it, let me know. And also, what other brown sugar babe oils do you suggest me getting? Because if they're this good, I need to try it. Now we're getting to my favorite part, which is perfume. But my mouth is dry from all this talking. So water break. <laughs> So you guys, you know what I forgot to ask you? What is your scent of the day? This is what I wore today, which is New Notes Latte de Cherry. And this fragrance is messing with me. I need to wear it some more before I tell you guys what I really think so of. So we're going to get to the next fragrance. So I actually layered this next fragrance with the Cloud9 Body Oil. And this is Atelier's Vani Incense and you guys that combo i cannot live without it so this is a very unique vanilla fragrance it is not something that is going to be for everybody it does not smell gourmand it smells citrusy it smells aromatic it smells woodsy like it's very interesting it almost smells a little green to me there's something about this fragrance that it's so good. It makes it hard to describe. I've had this fragrance for about three years and I'm just now starting to play around with it. But me layering this fragrance with that brown sugar, babe, cloud nine. Oh my gosh. Oh. Y'all, that combo was fire and I need it. I, I honestly need it. Like seriously, it was beautiful. It just gave this fragrance a little something. So if you have this fragrance and you felt it was a little too unique for you and you wanted to give it a little sweetness, layer it with something like the Brown Sugar Babe Cloud Nine, or if you have a sweeter vanilla fragrance, you can layer that too. But this on its own is very, very nice. It's a little smoky too. Like I really enjoy this fragrance is very different. I'm still getting to know it, but I can already tell like me and her, we have to be together forever. Love this fragrance. So this next one, you guys, I have not personally worn this fragrance, okay? But I had to talk about it because I cannot live without it. And this is Majestic Woods from Juicy Couture. So this was gifted to me for my fragrance fairy godmother you know who you are thank you so much you're amazing this fragrance right here i hold on oh my god so i have been smelling this on my partner since like all through february now this is supposed to be i think it's supposed to be feminine leaning but this is perfectly unisex and when i tell you guys Oh, it's so sexy. It is so sexy. Oh, this is a sweet, woody, musky fragrance. Oh my God. It's so sexy. Like I'm, I'm going to keep saying it because it's sexy and it's long lasting and it's like $50. Okay. That's oh. when he wears this y'all. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I get distracted easily. But every time I smell this on him, I'm like, oh my God, he smells so freaking good. He's not like the rest of us in FragCon where he just sprays his body down. No, he does his post points a little bit and that's it. He thinks I'm crazy how I spray. A little bit of this goes a long way. Wait, let me tell you guys the notes. So it has Woody Notes, Ambroxan, Praline, Amber, and Tonka Bean. Y'all, this smells, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, it's sexy, it's woody, it's sweet. Oh my gosh. And it's spicy. He hugged me one day before he left for work and I smelled this on me until I washed it off. Like that's how powerful and strong this fragrance is. If he gets in the car, Hours later, you can still smell this in the car. It smells so good. And 
I want to wear it too, but I enjoy it on him so much. It's like, dude, this, this is your signature scent now. Like it smells so good, but oh, I can't, I can't live without this fragrance. Like either I'm smelling it on him or I'm going to have to smell it on me. Somebody needs to be wearing this fragrance because it smells so good. Oh, have y'all tried this fragrance? This is amazing. It's amazing. I truly love it. Like $50, I think it was like $50 on Fragrance Net. Oof. Mm, mm, mm. Let me move Okay, on. the next fragrance I cannot live without you guys is Juliana's Perfume Double Decadence. I actually thought I lost this perfume and I was tearing up my closet looking for it. And I found it by accident. It fell behind the shelf. This is their version of Guerlain Spiritueuse Dubly. Dubly. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've had this for about two years. If you can see the vanilla is on the, the fragrance is on the darker side because it has vanilla in it. And this one, y'all. Oh, it's so good. So sexy. I remember when I first got it, I didn't care for it too much. Maybe because the um, the Spiritueuse Dubly was so hyped up and I thought I was about to get this amazing fragrance, but it wasn't what I thought. This fragrance has sat, it's matured, it's oxidized, macerated, whatever they do. And when I smell this fragrance now, it's like, oh my gosh. So I sprayed this on me the other day after I got home from work, took my shower, all that. I just wanted something nice, sweet, simple, cute. And I sprayed it on. I said, okay, yeah, this is nice. It smells like vanilla, sweet vanilla cake. This is good. Maybe 15 minutes later, I said, oh, I got this aroma like this smokiness a little woodiness with the vanilla oh my god i said wait a minute what what's happening here this smells we're, we're doing something different it's smelling different it's taking a sexy turn what what are we doing and then i started smelling like this floralness to it so i, I guess it has rose in it it didn't exactly smell like rose though or maybe some kind of different rolls that I've never smelled before in my life. I don't know, but it's, it's just was like, wait a minute. This is good. This is really good. So I asked my partner, I said, Hey, how do I smell? Because th this is not loud. So he smelled me. He said, Oh yeah, I like that. I said, you do? He said, yeah. I said, is this sexy? And he'll tell me right away if he didn't think so. He's like, yeah, I like it. <sighs> okay. Anyway, this fragrance, y'all, it smells so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. If you're new to my channel, I'm not always like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this smells so good. And I looked on their website and they have a wait list for it. This is a very sexy, smoky sensual vanilla fragrance and it's woody it's a little woody i'm sorry i'm not the best at describing fragrances but this y'all oh my gosh i i have to have it and i'm so glad i found it because i remember saying to myself i want to wear it it smells good but it wasn't smelling like this the way it does now this is so good you guys i highly highly recommend this fragrance okay you guys so right now letta oris 22 is something that i'm just really loving if i don't want to do too much with my perfume if i just want to smell good if i want to smell like not overwhelming but i know i smell good and i smell clean and I smell buttery and a little powdery and this hair is on my face. Oh, excuse me. This is it. If you want something that's nice to wear to work in healthcare, like I work at, I work at a hospital. This one is buttery. It's kind of gives me like a makeup-y vibe. 
It's a little musky. It's powdery. It's just, this is so good. It's almost hard for me to describe. I'm probably not doing it justice with my description, but this is good. This is from Stephanie Letta, who is a YouTube uh, content creator here. And I learned about this from Veronica. You see the dents. I wear this fragrance because I really, really love it. I can feel confident when I'm wearing it that I'm not going to choke anybody out if I'm in that type of setting, if I'm in a meeting with a bunch of doctors or something. I don't have to worry about anybody getting upset because this is just going to give what it needs to give. Like I'm going to smell good, smell a little elevated. I think it's a little classy too. Oh, this is so good. And you know what I did one day, you guys, is I layered this with that Cloud9 Brown Sugar Babe. And yes, that was so great. Like the, it gave it a little sweetness to it that it do, it doesn't have. Like it has, it has a little sweetness, but not like gourmand or anything. That, that Brown Sugar Babe gave it like this, like it kind of kicked it up a little bit. So I have to have this. Like, I love this fragrance so much. I'm so happy that I have it. I will link the website down below because I do believe that you can buy like a 10 ml or something. This is definitely worth getting your nose. Okay, on. you guys, while we're talking about clean fragrances, fragrances that are not going to choke anybody out, Intros Ivy Musk. Ivory Musk. If you cannot tell by the bottle, this is an inspired version of initial side effect. Not side effect. Um, musk therapy. And I actually found my decan of musk therapy. I had like a, a small sample, and I was able to compare. This is 90% spot on. I feel like bus therapy had a little more freshness to it maybe a little more um greenness something about it smelled a little green to me but this one has more of a thicker consistency slightly it's creamier there's something about this that's giving me a creamy vibe to it i don't know what it is but they smell very, very similar. And I have never, ever worn this fragrance without someone telling me that I smell good. I have to have this in my collection. $40, y'all. $40. This lasts all day long. All day. I put this on before I go to work. In the morning, maybe around 7, something like that. In the evening when I get home, I can still smell it. I love it. It's absolutely amazing. This is something that I have been really loving and I just, I don't want to be without it ever. I love it. I'm so happy. If you don't want to pay must therapy money, but you like must therapy, I stand behind how close this is to must therapy. And I think the performance is way better. So Please check this out if you want must therapy, but you don't want to pay must therapy money. So, so the next fragrance, you guys, I have been loving and I just feel like I can't live without. This comes from me shopping my stash, y'all. This is Milk Bold. And I, I pulled this out for February because I was hearing that it was very close to Lost in a Dream, which is one of the newer fragrances from Navitas Perfumes in collaboration with Paulina Shire. I had that one, but I no longer have it. We'll talk about it in a different video. But yeah, this smells like Lost in a Dream, but this one to me is better. This one is, it has that creaminess that Lost in a Dream has. They both have that milk note. And this one has marshmallows. It doesn't have that smell that Lost in a Dream has that I didn't like, which was probably the fig. But this one has a nice warmth to it. And it's also musky. And I just think something about this is so addictive. Like the opening of this kind of throws me off a little bit. But once it settles down on my skin, I'm just like so oh, in love. Like... It's addictive and it's comforting and it's sexy at the same time. 
if you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. This is just so good and it's sweet. Like, it's almost like something like condensed milk, but not quite as thick. But it's, it's, it's giving me condensed milk vibes. I love it. I know people say that they get a woody vibe from it or a smokiness. I'm not picking that up, but this is so good, y'all. This is one that I have to have. And I know that the weather is changing and we're all transitioning to our spring fragrances. It's still... Hey, guys, it's editing Liz here. Clearly, it's a different day. Clearly, it's daytime. So when I was filming the video that you guys were watching, the camera cut off. I don't know what happened. And when I pressed record, I kept recording. I didn't realize until I was editing the video this morning that the footage still didn't come out right. It, the picture was awful. I, I truly don't know what happened, but I could not upload that part and I didn't want to record the whole thing all over again. So I just wanted to come back on here and show you guys these last three fragrances. I was saying before the camera cut off that I know a lot of people are getting ready. They're transitioning from winter to spring fragrances. We're tired of the gourmands and all of that, but Milk Bold is still going to get love for me. To me, the way I feel about that fragrance, I don't care what's going on outside. I will reach for it because right now I just absolutely love it. So the next fragrance, you guys, is Vanilla Oud from K. Alley's Oud Gasm Collection. And this fragrance, I'm a, I'm getting nervous because the fragrance is right here and I don't have a full bottle. I'm waiting for a 20% off sale. I'm waiting for Sephora to have their, um, uh, what is it? the VIB sale so I can get it for 20% off because the fragrance is pricey, you guys, but the juice is so, so, oh my gosh, it's so worth it. So when I did my ranking of the four fragrances in the Oogasm collection, I ranked this as number two and Tobacco Oud as number one, but it's flipped now because this fragrance has matured into the most beautiful, sexy vanilla fragrance. I absolutely love it. So not only is this like a sugary sweet vanilla fragrance, and when I say sugar sweet, I mean like melted sugar sweet, and it has praline in it, but it is surrounded by that beautiful saffron note. To me, it smells like a buttery leather type of vibe. That's what I'm getting. Oh, it's sexy. Oh my gosh. And to me, I could wear this all year round. I don't feel like it's designated to one season. I would love to smell this on my hot skin. I really would. I'm, I'm just thinking that it's going to give amazing. What do you guys think if you have it? I absolutely love it. I don't want to be without it. I really don't. like. It's making me sad that I don't have a full bottle right now, but we will change that. It's going to happen. This next fragrance, you guys should not be surprised about it because I've been talking about it, talking about it, and I just don't want to not live without this in my fragrance life. And this is BDK's Rouge Smoking. This fragrance has really just, she's come from out of nowhere. You know how you have the horse race and the horse is in dead last, and then all of a sudden, here comes number seven, number seven is coming up, number seven, number seven, number seven. Oh my gosh, she's passing number four and it's number seven. Obviously, I've watched a lot of horse races, but this fragrance just was all the way in the back. Everybody counted her out and she just kind of came up and flew past everybody. That's what this fragrance did to me. And I am here for it. Now, I will put a disclaimer that my bottle is at least two years old. I got this shortly after it was released and so it smells a lot different than it did when I first got it. So this fragrance is sweet, it's spicy, it's warm, it's inviting, it's comforting, it's sensual. Like I love all the things about this fragrance and it's a little creamy. So to me, this it goes for between cherry coke float 
and root beer float. Sometimes I smell both. And the creaminess to me is like, you know how you take the vanilla ice cream and you put it in a cup and then you pour the cherry Coke or the root beer into it and it gets foamy and creamy at the top. That's the kind of creaminess that I get here. And I love it with that added spice. Oh man. Good job, BDK. This is amazing. I love it. Rouge smoking. And then the last fragrance right now that I just, I've been obsessing over it. I don't know what happened. I haven't worn this fragrance that I'm about to tell you guys about since my brother said it smelled like angel pee. So if you know the video, you know I'm talking about Bianco Latte. So I like the fragrance. I thought it was beautiful, but I wasn't in love with it. And I let it sit came back to it sprayed it and oh my god oh can i get a witness to how beautiful this fragrance smells i'm gonna tell you guys it kind of smells like not bread but it smells it kind of reminds me the texture reminds me of um tres leche cake that's kind of what it reminds me of I don't know why, but that's what I get when I smell it. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's cakey, bread-like. And I know you guys are like, girl, what are you talking about? That's what I get when I smell this fragrance. It's comforting, it's sensual, it gets compliments. When you spray this on, whatever you spray it on, it's not going away until you wash it off. And even when I don't have this fragrance on, me knowing that information, when I put my coat on that I had on when I wore it, I just inhale it just so I can smell the fragrance. So beautiful. Right now, this is like a current obsession for me. And if I had to have a signature scent right now, it would be Bianco Latte because I just honestly want to wear it all the time. I don't know what else to say. I love this fragrance. I'm obsessing over it. So that is it, you guys. I'm so sorry about the footage. I need a camera. I record with my phone. So I do apologize, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments, what are some fragrances that you guys, you just feel like you can't live without in your fragrance life? Let me know. And you guys, you know, before we go, let me know. I am looking to add more commodity fragrances to my collection. I was thinking about rain, getting my nose on that. But if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear, to hear about it in the comments below. Until we meet again, guys, remember how blessed. You're blessed and highly favored. Stay safe, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.